So in this one, we're gonna do something real stupid, but also awesome and a lot of fun. So currently right now, hurricane or tropical storm, we're not real sure which one's actually gonna happen. Uh, Barry is headed towards Louisiana and it is expected to cause a lot of storms and a lot of rain in Arkansas, in central Arkansas. So we're actually gonna go back to the secret spot we were just at. I'm gonna show you some clips from that the other day. Uh, it's actually last weekend. I'm going to my kayak and I'm gonna meet some buddies of mine uh, in their bass boats. And it's gonna be epic, it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna get the boat ready and uh, well, I guess hope for the best. Oh my word, yes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, trailer hook we need. That was a three pounder. Shoot. Casey's not out here yet, which is why we're fishing off the bank. But he's on his way. I just talked to him a few minutes ago. He'll be out here in the next few minutes. Huh? It's a largemouth bass. It's little. Boy, they are aggressive this morning. Nice. Here you go. You want to throw them back? Sure. Throw them. Put them in that one. It's warm. Here, opening this up to where it'll actually be even more flow. The flow goes in here. You catching them on this side? Both. I caught a three pounder right here earlier. I caught my three. Uh, I think mine was like two, two and a half right yeah. there by them lily pads. Yeah, this the, this was a nice thing. fish. It took off and came out of the water right there where it uh, where that tree reflection is. Yeah, it on camera. Of course it did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got proof. It just came <laughs> off. And then we caught a little one about eight or, eight or nine inches over here. He looked... getting them in the boat off the bank. Yeah. Them... Well, I didn't really set the hook very well because I wasn't expecting that. Right. First cast, and I was like, you know, there's a bunch of debris. I'm like, whoa, that debris swimming. <laughs> Do you remember this way? I know, it's like you don't ever think it is nothing, but look at it, man. It's yeah, it's great. It's popping. I mean, they're biting. Oh my gosh. I can't tell y'all how excited I am to be out here. This is a, a private lake, but we were told that it's okay. I can't say names or look, I can't say anything. But man, there are fish jumping everywhere. But we were told we were okay to come out here and fish. Everything we're gonna do today is catch and release, even if it's a 12 pounder. That's why we bring the cameras, we take pictures. That's what you do, man. You put them mamas back. We're gonna catch them today. Yeah, they may want it real fast. They may want it creeping real slow. You just gotta, you gotta kind of figure that part out. All right, so if you watch Motor Yak TV videos, Wait, we should have had that thing out. Oh man, that sucks. Hey, that fish hit way out here, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, as soon as that fish, as soon as I saw it, I hit record, and it's been recording. So. Oh, you seen the fish and hit record? So you seen me? Yeah, but as soon as the camera started recording, it was. We were just like, ah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go put another one on. You got another one, don't you? What'd that look like? <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was that one that I had that. Let's get that net out. Okay. Yeah. I was literally about to go down there and lift that big old bass out of there. I wish but... I'd have just waited on you to do that. I mean, net is the best way, but. I know. I just I don't know why we didn't have them out already. But 
Anyway. Well, when you're not catching them, not even little ones, it's like, why bother? I know. That didn't happen today, y'all. <laughs> Oh, Casey lost a big one. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Golly. Well, what? I mean, okay, on a positive note, he learned a lesson. I say he, we all learned a lesson. Um, we all knew the lesson already, but we but just, that, we honestly, get caught up in the moment. There's some Mexican pizza in there. You want a freak and not use the net when the net ain't out. We didn't have the net out. We didn't have, uh, I, I was gonna go lip it like normal, but what wound up happening was, Case tried to lift it out of the water, he's excited. I mean, it hit right at the boat. And uh, basically just broke the line. So, is what it is. You got a crank bay on there? Yeah. They like to go crank bay. Three thirty in the morning. We're heading out. All hooked up. Good to go. It's early. Feels good. Seventy-two degrees. Rain's coming in. This will be awesome. Five thirty in the morning. Sun's just now coming up. We're here at the Secret Lake. Uh, threw a couple casts over on that other side and with a jig and didn't get anything, but we're about to put the kayak in the water. Ryan and Case should be here any minute. I mean, they were just a few minutes behind me, so about to go ahead and launch right now and go smash some bass. That looks like a drum. Looks like a drum or a carp. Or some kind of carp. Uh oh. Well, hey, I'm glad y'all got it netted though. That's awesome. You got you got some wires. Yeah. Uh, I caught Ryan's line though. So let me. Uh... My bad, dude. I had to still out there. Oh no, it's all right. It's just I got to get it out before I do anything else. I think that's probably the only issue with this little lake is there's probably more of every other species than bass. That's crazy. I think that's what that is. Go ahead. All right. Oh, yeah, those should work. That. Yeah, that's some kind of weird-looking drum. Carp or something. I yeah, some kind of drum or carp. Look at his tail there. Get beat up on the kind rock. of a crazy-looking fish. Well, good catch. <laughs> yeah, it'd have been a good one. Oh, this, when it was splashing, I thought, oh man, he, he got him a decent fish, and then, you know, that's a good practice at least, good warm up. Oh yeah, nothing that's happened since the ramp is going to get put in anything. <laughs> Only the good stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'll usually shoot about six hours worth of footage and keep 15 minutes of it. That crane bait's worth that, Landon, I'm telling you. You got the black one? No. The whitish one? There you go. Oh man, that sucks. We had uh, we had a bass that would go about seven pounds on day one. Hit right at the boat. Case didn't get a good hook in it. Um, you know, but I'm pretty sure the line broke anyway. And lost that fish and I didn't get the camera on it. And that sucks. That's my fault. You see kind of the swirls of the water. It was a big fish, but my bad on the camera work. I know better. Day two, the following Saturday, we got a hold of another one. Casey did, as a matter of fact, it was about a 35 foot cast. I was actually sitting right behind their boat fishing, right behind them down that same bank, same crankbait, and one about the same size. Hit and I saw it come out of the water and again, I knelt down a few moments before that to get, uh, to change a lure or something and I turned my camera off to try to save battery. When I came back up, a few seconds later is when this happened 
and I should have been looking right at it. I never hit record. My bad, times two. Big fish, didn't catch it anyway, but I at least got it. Well, I would have at least gotten it coming out of the water, and that'd have been pretty cool. Cause, so that way, you know, I'm not making up tall tales, but if it doesn't get to the boat, then it doesn't count, right? So really our plan worked. Our plan was to go to the secret lake, was to catch quality fish. At least one big fish, which we did, we just couldn't get it to the boat, both times. After that, I went to Lake Bradford, and uh, actually it's not Lake Bradford. It's, I'm not, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's in Bradford though. It's right off uh, Highway 167 North. And uh, anyway, it's got a bunch of little fish. I mean, like they're like this, they're tiny. They're little bitty things, but they're a lot of fun to catch. We went for quantity at that lake. It was quality fish and then go to quantity. So I can show you a big fish and then turn around and show you a bunch of fish. And uh, well, we got like half of that done, I guess. And the, the first half, we, we should have had some bigger fish, but we didn't. Uh, so we did get that big drum. Again, Casey, man, I'm, I'm really proud of him. He's, he's one of my best friends and he's been fishing now for a little while. He's got a nice boat and everything. I mean, I mean, it's awesome. We've been trying to go a lot more recently and he's gotten really good. He's been out fishing me every time. So not that I'm this all knowing pro or anything, but uh, so that's that's really good. He, he's been catching all the fish. And I think that's great. Hey, be sure to catch part two. It's a lot of fun. I try to rescue a cat and uh, I catch a lot of fish. Again, we go out to quantity. They're kind of little, but it's a lot of fun. I figure out a pattern and uh, that's basically the key to bass fishing, man. Big or small, you got to figure out a pattern and that's what I was able to do. It was rainy, it was stormy. Uh, didn't get it too bad, but anyway, be sure to click the top left part of your screen. That will be the end video link to the end card, or on the end card to uh, part two. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. We'll holler at you later.